This is the 2020 AB2 number eight. Since we're dealing with absolute value, we're gonna consider um, the absolute value of X minus A is equal to D. That's equivalent to saying that the distance from A is D. So on the number line, you'll have A, and then you'll have A plus D and A minus D. These are the solutions to this um, absolute value equation. So our first relationship is F of one of X is equal to the absolute value of X minus one. And if we want to find the roots of this, the roots are where f of one of x is equal to zero, the absolute value of x minus one is equal to zero, and that solution is x equals one. Looking at f sub two of x, this is equal to f sub one of the absolute value of x minus one. We see that the roots when the input is x, the root occurs when x is equal to 1. Our input changes to the absolute value of x minus 1. So this is equal to 0. f of 2 of x is equal to 0, means f sub 1 of the absolute value of x minus 1 is equal to 0. And that occurs when our input, the absolute value of x minus 1, is equal to 1. These are uh, the set of points that are a distance of 1 away from one, and so that solution is x equals, uh, x equals, oh, sorry, I got the wrong, this is two, and this is two, and this is two. So x equals one, or x equals three. Sorry about that. Uh, if we go to the next one, f sub three, let's see if I can get this right. This is equal to f sub two of the absolute value of x minus three. Phew. f sub three of x is equal to zero when f sub two of the absolute value of x minus three is equal to zero. Um, when f sub two of x is equal to zero, then we have x is equal to one or x is equal to three. So we got this from here. And so our input, when f of two is equal, f sub two is equal to zero, the input is also equal to one or three. In this case, our input is the absolute value of x minus three. So we have that the absolute value of x minus three is equal to one, or the absolute value of x minus three is equal to three. That comes from here and here. And if we list these out, this is the set of points that are a distance one away from three. So x equals two, or x is equal to four, or x is equal to zero, or x is equal to six. We can list these out. X is in the set containing zero, two, four, six. We notice that these are even numbers from zero to six. Let's do one more example f sub four of x is equal to f sub three of the absolute value of x minus four. f sub four of x is equal to zero when f sub three of the absolute value of x minus four is equal to zero. We see that when f sub three of x is equal to zero, then x has these four solutions. So that means um, when our input, the absolute value of x minus four um, is gonna be equal to these four solutions as well. So we would have, for example, the absolute value of x minus four is equal to zero, two, four, and six. And so if we list these out, well, we can think about this. We can draw a number line here with four in the center. So the distance from four is zero, so that would be this point. The distance from four is two, so that would be two above and two below, so these two points as well. The distance from four is four, so that would be at eight and at zero. And the distance from four is six, that would be at 10 and at negative two, so these two points. So again, we have um, x is in the set of even numbers from zero to six, 
from negative 2 to 10, and 4 is the middle number. Let's see if we can um, generalize. Here, let me actually write this out. Okay, we're going to generalize this. We notice that um, our middle number increases each time as n increases. So um, our middle number here was, was um, at x equals 3, and so we were at you know plus or minus 1, plus or minus 3. Here, our middle number, I'll just call this the median number, is at, um, is at 4. Um, for f sub 5, that middle number is going to be 5, et cetera. So we see that that's, um, that's increasing. And um, let's just... Uh, this is our maximum. Let's see what happens to this um, as n gets bigger. We'll just do this in a table. So we have n, and then we have the maximum solution for x, and then we're going to subtract the median solution. So when n is equal to 1, we have 1 minus 1 equals 0. When n is equal to 2, the maximum solution is was 3, and the middle solution was 1, n is equal to 3, we had 6 minus 3 equals 3, and then for n equals 4, we had 10 minus 4 equals 6. Let's see if we can um, generalize this. Um, we have the maximum value of x goes 1, 3, 6, 10. This is looking like triangular numbers, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10. And if we look to see what um, that maximum value will be for n equals 5, uh, we will add 5 to 10 to get 15. Um, that's, uh, we go up one in our median amount, and then we add it to our maximum solution, which is 10. So that would give us um, 15. So it, it seems like it's pretty apparent that this is going to follow um, triangular numbers. But you know what? I think this is 2, and this is 1. Sorry about that. OK, so if these are triangular numbers, then the nth value of the maximum solution is going to be n times n plus 1 over 2. And then our median number is um, going to be n. And so this simplifies to n times n minus 1 over 2. OK, so what does this look like for our solutions? Um, diagrammed on the number line, we'll have some value n. And then we're going to have solutions that are even, either n is even or n is odd, but it'll either include n or not include n, depending on whether it's even or odd. And it'll include all the even numbers um, above and below it until we get to um, n plus n times n minus 1 over 2, and then n minus n times n minus 1 over 2. So this is n times n minus 1 over 2, and this is also n times n minus 1 over 2. That's the difference between the maximum solution and our median solution. OK. Um, and so we want to figure out what, how many terms there are going to be, because we're going to be adding these together. Um, and so I think what I want to use to, to figure this out is um, let's figure out um, uh, this, this arithmetic series, we have an arithmetic series with, um, and these are all even numbers, so our, our common difference is 2, and we want to figure out how many terms there are. So let's just say M as in Mary is the number of terms. And I can just um, maybe use uh, this um, maximum X value and express that in terms of our minimum X value which is this one, so is equal to x times the minimum value. The common difference is 2, and we add that to our minimum value m minus 1 times. So I'm going to use that to figure out what m is in terms of n. So our maximum value is n plus n times n minus 1 over 2. Our minimum value is n minus n times n minus 1 over 2 plus 2 times m minus 1. So we have a pretty easy equation, and we're going to solve for m in terms of n. And if you do the algebra, m is equal to 1 half n squared minus n plus 2. And uh, returning to the problem statement, what was the problem? We want to find um, the least value of n such that the sum of the zeros, um, some of these solutions um, for f sub n, exceeds 500,000. So we're going to add all these together. 
So I'm going to use the sum of an arithmetic series, which is the first plus the last, or the average of the first and the last times m, where this is the number of terms, which we have expressed in terms of n. And uh, this first plus last over 2, that's just our middle number, n. So I'll just replace this with n. And I'll replace m with this expression in terms of n. So this is n times 1 half n squared minus n plus 2. We want this to be greater than 500,000. That means that, um, let's see, n cubed minus n squared plus 2n is greater than a million. So this is approximately, the left-hand side is approximately equal to n cubed. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's just try um, n equals 100 just to kind of ballpark this and see where it gets us. So if n is equal to 100, we have 10 to the 6th minus 10 to the 4th plus 200 which is equal to 990,200. This is less than 10 to the sixth, but it's so close. I'm, I'm willing to just stop here and say that n is equal to 101. But if you're not convinced n equals 101 is greater than a million, we can go through that here. This is 101 to the sixth minus 101 squared plus 2 times 101 or 202. And uh, I suppose you could write this as um, the cube of a binomial, 100 plus 1 cubed, 100 plus 1 squared, and then we add on 202. And if you want to be fancy, you can use um, Pascal's coefficients, 10 to the 6th plus 3 times 10 to the 4th plus 300 plus 1, and then we're going to subtract 10 to the 4th and 201, and then add that. And what are we left with? Um, 10 to the 6th, 3 times 10 to the 4th minus 10 to the 4th, that's 2 times 10 to the 4th. And then we have 301, and we're subtracting 201, so that's 100 plus 202. This ends up being 102032 which is greater than 10 to the sixth. So um, our solution is n is equal to 101.